Cheio tudo de rica, né não? Ah, sei lá, pelo cabelo. Se for, qual o problema? Já viu o rico namorar pobre? Hey Sheen family, I'm Anasia Obioha and you're watching Sheen Talk Exclusive LA Edition. I am joined by the lovely Asian doll, Hello. hip hop artist to the hip hop artist extraordinaire uh -huh. and fashionista. First of all, can you tell me about your ensemble that you have on? Um, I, was, I mean, because this is this is this is so unique. I was I got different styles, I got different moves. So today I just wanted to bring a little piece of Texas to LA. Okay. So I was like, I want to do like crystal hat, the crystal belt, the little shorts, blue jean, the little sandals. All right, so, you yeah. represent Dallas, right? Yes, Dallas, Texas. Yeah. Dallas is really like, it's just like, we show like a lot of skin, we're really comfortable. It's so hot out there, so I it's like, know. we grow up with like the little tank top shirts and the little shorts. Okay, I like it. Yay, This Thank is you. very, very, very Dallas. And I'm supporting breast cancer. You know what? I was checking out your Instagram mm -hmm. and I noticed that you guys were just down, you know, like at the, were you down on Skid Row? Like yes. helping out the homeless? Um, yes. This is a woman <laughs> who is all on a mission. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So she's, she's supporting breast cancer. Mm -hmm. She's downtown mm -hmm. helping okay. out the homeless here in Los Angeles. So you are more than what meets the eye. So young, mm -hmm. you've already released like eight. Yes. I'm a, songs already. I'm a rapper rapper. Okay. You got me questioning <laughs> what I'm doing with my life right now. So what pushes you? Like what motivates you? I mean, you've been obviously doing this for mm -hmm. some years now like and four. you're still so young. Yes. So how did you get started? What motivated you to get into this business? Um, it was really, when I um, started, I was really trying to get out of like, the situation that I was in, like in my environment, just like violence mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So I became like that person who was rapping about what was going on in my neighborhood. Right. And um, people already knew me, so it was just like, they was paying attention and listening to what to say. So it escalated to me, just started my fan base and my listeners just started getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. um, before I was like, lit on social media, I had like the streets, I had like everybody talking. Okay. So when so social- This is like an outlet for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But what really motivated me was just like, you know, my family, seeing everybody just in the predicament that they was in, I just really wanted to get out and never come back, so. So tell me a little bit more about that. It was tough, but I feel like um, God don't put you in no situation that you can't handle. So even when I feel like I was growing up by myself with no guidance and stuff, I really, was really like raw with the self-taught stuff, mm -hmm. you know? Like just mm -hmm. being self-taught and just knowing right from wrong, just knowing what I shouldn't do and what I should do. And at what point did you start um, writing down rhymes and becoming um, a lyricist? When I started, I was, since I was younger, I was always like, Rapping and stuff like that. Um, I was you just, just started rapping just yeah. like out the blue. No, this was like in my blood line. <laughs> okay, so was it like a hip hop artist motivated you that you saw? My mother really was the first to, like to introduce your mom. Yes, she was, introduced me to to everything. She was spitting. Yes. No. Yes, he was Seriously? spitting. So you at home? You how old? And your mom spitting? Um, I wanted to say I was like six. Really? Mm -hmm. She had been in the studio with her. What? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, so I was exposed to that. So I, when I grew up, I had flashbacks. I was like, why? Like, how do I know how to rap? People used to ask me, like, how do you know how to rap? I was like, how do I know how to rap? But I just have flashbacks like my mom. Your you know what mom. I'm saying? So Is she still rapping? Are y'all going um, like, to do something together? Yeah, I want to do something with my mom one day. She'll be so be, hyped. That'd be cool. <laughs> but yeah, my mom. She's the inspiration. So um, tell me about, you know, your music. How would you describe your music for people who have never heard mm -hmm. uh, any of your tracks? I want to say um, it's no it's no type of, it's not like no certain genre. I feel like it's just all over the place. Like when it comes to feelings, emotions, hype, you want to fight, I got that. You got to listen to this. And if you want to cry, I got this. If you want to feel motivated, I got this. I got like different type of music that when you cut on, you're like, okay, I want to be in this mood. I want to be in this mood. You know what I'm saying? You know how some people, have their favorite artists and they, right. they don't make that type of music so they got to go to the next artist. Yeah. But me, it's like, I got whatever, whatever you need. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to get into fashion? I mean, because um, yes. like, I'm, keep, I'm looking at you and I'm I feel like, like I am fashion. You, I feel, you're like fashion mm -hmm. walking. Yes. You know? Uh-huh. I feel like um, that's coming That's coming real soon. I just want everything to happen authentically. So everything just start coming down, I'm, I'm going to go crazy. So you're the first artist on Gucci Mane's label, yes. which is 1017. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, what is that like? I mean, it's such a male-dominated industry. Is it really hard for female hip hop? Um, I feel like it, it's really not hard, but it's just, it's just like a respect thing. Because with me, I, if me with me, I wasn't trying to prove to nobody that I was this this good rapper. I was just satisfying my fans. And then with, with that, and you and you just keep doing it and keep on building your craft and just keep on going, other artists respect that. So I feel like people seen me for so long and it's like I never went it's nowhere. Like, so yeah, so everybody said it, just like I seen them hustle for a while. So it's just like a mutual thing, but once the respect there and the, and the music is there and it's good, then you should have nothing to worry about. Just keep doing you. Who are your favorite artists out right now? Who inspires you? Um, okay. My um, favorite artist right now is, is actually two boys. One name is Rallo Rodriguez. 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 Uh, Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. And then one is named No Cap. But so what are you listening to right now? I'm listening to Asian Doll. Asian Doll. For okay. sure. <laughs> I'm listening to that. So where can people find you? Um, now I know you just came off tour. Mm -hmm. So are you now in the studio recording more music? What's going on? I'm in the studio recording more music. And I'm going to actually go on tour again in July 13th. Oh, wow. Okay. Me, Blueface, um, Glock 9, Sada Baby. I'm recording a whole lot, new okay. projects coming. What not, can people expect from you? What, what oh, it's you different. Get it's, it's getting better and better. Like right now, I've, I haven't been previewing no, like usually I'd be on live or I'll preview because I'd be so high. Like this music, is, I'm so overprotected because this is, is different for me. Like, yeah. I'm excited about that. Thank you so much. Thank you Asian so much. For they can me. find you on social media, right? You're yes. on IG. As Asian the Brat. Even though I'm Asian a dog. Brat. Thanks you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for it's having so me. So nice meeting you. Yeah, this is fun.